The new title update is live now on consoles, and I've been playing a bunch of FC24 all morning to test it out. But how is the new gameplay? I don't know then. <laughs> For cheap and fast, reliable FC24 coins, check out MMOEXP, the link is down below, and use the code MATHD to get 5% off all of your orders. These are the patch notes for title update 6. They said they've reduced the midfield congestion, or have they? We're going to test it out. Reduce the sideline pressure on attackers, they've decreased the manual goalkeeper movement speed and positioning, and it looks like the three and five of the back formations are going to be more offensive minded. So maybe they could be really overpowered with this brand new patch. However, some of the biggest, you know, gameplay changes here, guys, have to be these. So they've actually reduced the likelihood of finesse shots going in with the play style of the finesse plus play style. So much so that players who have that play style in Ultimate Team right now decrease in price massively. Hansen decreased by 20% last night. Inform Salah lost about 100,000 coins. However, how is this new update? Let's get into it. Into the new gameplay patch we go. And the first thing I'm going to say, guys, and you're going to love what I'm going to say here, is a 71 depth has finally been patched. Absolutely. I've played about 12 games all morning on stream on Twitch, guys, and I'm telling you, the 71 depth meta, which is basically where you go to custom tactics, adjust your depth to 71, your players would previously really press the hell out of your opponent's team, get the ball back really quickly, and the midfield would be super congested. Really, really just tight midfield. Now, though, you can play a lot more through the middle. The 71 depth is nowhere near as overpowered. We played rivals this morning. I played for champs as well. So a bit of everything, a whole different, you know, style of players they came up against. I didn't lose in 11 games, by the way. So I am liking this patch. However, the 71 depth, guys, absolutely has been patched. And that, for me, is a good thing. It was too overpowered. It was way too dominant in the game. However, what else? has changed in game well with 71 depth being patched and you know decreased in efficiency the big thing i've noticed with it is that i'm not sure if it has anything to do with this, with this guys but cdms now feel brilliant i think ea have actually patched or improved the intercept kind of animation in game and you'll see on this gameplay ngolo kante feels incredible. He's more like a team of the year Kante from FIFA 17 now. I'm telling you, CDMs are way better. I think they have actually improved that animation there. We can confirm at the same time here. Roy Keane, who is a bit of an average icon for me today with this new patch, way better, way more interceptions going on. So look out for CDMs, guys, being great. As you can see here, though, this is Hansen's weak foot with finesse shots. Now, have finesse shots been nerfed? They have been slightly. They weren't wrong. I believe it's about maybe 15% decrease in how good and efficient they are, how often they go in. And if you guys bang those finesse goals in previously to today's new patch in Ultimate Team, then now going forward, you definitely need to green time them. That is going to give you the best chance. Don't just rely on your player having that finesse plus play style. Now, one big thing that has been made worse, in my opinion, referees, for some weird reason, are just not giving penalties more often. That's weird. However, the worst thing about this patch for me, guys, so far, and it's my honest thought, I'm giving you guys, you know, a transparent video here today as, as ever, and it's got to be goalkeepers are definitely worse. It's a good and bad thing. So they've nerfed goalkeeper movement in a big way here. They're less faster than before when doing the goalkeeper movement. However, when you are in a 1v1 situation, in FIFA 22, there was a weird glitch with goalkeepers where they'd run away from the ball when they're in a 1v1. That is happening again. Remember guys, I've played about 12 to 15 games all morning with this new patch. I've brought out my goalkeeper on purpose maybe five or six times out of 10 times. They have just moved out the way and my opponent scored. So that is a big thing they need to address. Another big thing they need to maybe include in a new patch is still having your opponent quitting nil-nil or even quitting while drawing in any game and you're not getting the win. I still can't believe that has not been improved yet. Now, another big thing, guys, R1 dribbling right now is still usable. However, it's way more balanced. So you often do get, well, every now and then you're going to get a heavy touch, whereas before the patch with R1 dribbling, you pretty much could dominate the whole half of the pitch and go and score a goal. Now, though, 
it is way more balanced. It's still powerful if you use it in the right way, but it's not as overpowered as before. Not only that, guys, the midfield is way less congested in terms of with the 71 depth now, that means you can play way more expansive football in the middle of the pitch. So the wing play should be less. Now, speaking of the wings, the fullbacks as well, guys, do noticeably have a slow animation when tracking back. So if you do lose the ball, you're now going to be more punished when playing on the wings. They will take longer to get back, which again, this update is going to mean more offensive football being played. I am liking this update so far, not only because I haven't lost, even I've been in losing situations, guys, like it's been fair, way more fair, more so on the wings when my fullback's losing possession, they're tracking back slower. And in general, I'm liking this update. I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm being honest, guys. I really am. I think this is a good update for the game. What are your thoughts, though, on this new update? It's, for me, looking like more goals are going to be scored in the new FC24. Let me know in the comments. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.